This is the solution to written homework 35. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, so for part for part A, we're given this function f. So f has parameter a, and we're supposed to figure out the a that does something for us. So let's look at the, the various ways that f might appear. So here's three, three possible drawings. So, um, regardless of the value of a, when you plug in x is 0, you get 9. So, 0, 9 is a point, no matter what a is. Now, if we, if we use a negative a, a negative value for a, that means that we'll have a parabola that opens down like this. If we use uh, a positive A, and it's very small, say, say something like A is 0 0.1, then this will be a parabola that opens up, but quite shallow so it's kind of spread out if we do a positive A where it's big then it'll make it open steeply so you can imagine that what A is doing it's sort of telling you how much the parabola bends and then we've got we've got an interval 2 to 6 so if we say that 2 to 6 looks like this two and six two and six And six. <clears throat> what we want is we want to pick the value of A such that the average value of the red in these little cuts right here in between the two green lines such that uh, the red between the green lines average equal to 100. Okay. Well, <clears throat> the average value, the formula for it, that's going to be 1 over 6 minus 2, the integral from 2 to 6, uh, of a x squared plus 9 dx. So if we give this 
is named M. If we call this value M, we'll calculate it all out. In the end, all of these instructions are saying we want to solve M equal to 100 for the parameter A. OK. Let's do that. So M, that's 1 over 6 minus 2, so that's a fourth. And then I can go ahead and integrate that with the fundamental theorem. So antiderivative of ax squared, that would be uh, a multiplied by x cubed over 3 and then plus 9x, and then evaluate it from 2 to 6. OK. So m is a fourth multiplied by, OK, so if you plug in 6, that would be uh, what? So 6 cubed over 3, oops over 3 is 72. So that'd be 72a, and then plus 9 times 6 is 54, minus, if you plug in 2, uh, that would be what? Uh, 8 over 3. So 8 thirds a, and then plus 18. Okay, simplify this. That's one fourth. And then 72 minus 8 thirds. Well, 72 uh, reckoned as thirds. So 72 times 3. That's 216. So 216 minus 8 is 208 thirds a and then plus 54 minus 18 oops 54 minus 18 is 36 and so then distribute the 1 fourth end now 208 divided by 4 is 52 so that would be 52 over 3a plus 36 over 4 is 9. Okay, so we want to solve this for, for a. So now solve uh, m equal to 100 for a. So that's 100 is 52 over 3a plus 9. So uh, 91 is 52 over 3a. And then solving <coughs> 91 is prime, isn't it? That's a crazy number. Uh, so 3 times 91, 273 over 52. So 273 over 52. So do, do those have any common factors? Let's see. Not 2, uh, not 3, not 4, not 5, not 6, not 7, uh, 13. Two, seven, three, over thirteen. Ha! They have a common factor of thirteen. Uh, so that would be uh, what? So that'd be twenty-one, and then divide.
divide by um, so 52 over 13, 4. So I guess you could write this as uh, 5 and a quarter. Okay, so that's the value of A. So that means that um, of these three possible choices, this one is most nearly the right choice. So not a parabola that opens down, not a parabola that opens up but really shallow. Rather, we want a parabola that opens up kind of steeply uh, with leading coefficient 5.25. Okay. Okay. So now the interval interval in this question has a parameter b which means that now the picture uh, now the picture looks like this so I'll draw three possibilities well not really just two I guess that's all that's necessary to get the point across So we've got, uh, since the interval is 0 to b, they both have 0, 0. This one will be a skinny one. And this will be a wide one. Different possible values for b. So b is what can be moved back and forth. g of t is 2t plus 1. So that means that... Uh, this function looks like this. So either like that, or if it's carried on further, like that. So we want the average value. So we want to pick B. B. Uh, that is to say, the location of this fence post such that uh, the average value of the red, that is to say the average height of the red is 56. Okay, <clears throat> well, the formula for the average value in this scenario, if we call the average value m, then that will be 1 over b minus 0, the length of the interval, and then integral 0 to b of 2t plus 1, dt. <clears throat> and we want to solve this for b. Solve m equal to 56 for positive b's because uh, the instruction says positive b's. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> so this will be, uh, that means that m is 1 over b, and then the antiderivative of 2t plus 1 is t squared plus t, and then we're going to evaluate this from 0 to b, So m is 1 over b, and then plugging in b, that's b squared plus b, and then minus 0, because that's what you get when you plug in 0. So m is b squared plus b over b. <coughs> 
you can factor out a b in the numerator and cancel. So that's b multiplied by b plus 1 over b. So that's just b plus 1. Uh, the, the reason why you can cancel, that cancellation is possible, because b is positive. So we don't have to worry about division by 0. And so now we're going to solve uh, m is equal to 56 for b. So in this case, uh, the answer is uh, the answer is uh, b plus one. So m is 56. So b plus one is 56, and so b is uh, 55. And that's the answer.